Hello everybody. In this video we're going to talk about a very important uh, conjecture in mathematics called the triangle inequality uh, geometry version. So we're going to start by constructing a triangle. Um, I've been given these three links that are supposed to be the sides of a triangle and I want to know how many triangles I can construct with uh, these values as side links. So to, in order to do that I'm going to pick one side of the triangle to work off of. This is going to be one vertex, this is going to be the other vertex, and then I'm going to make my compass point, uh, my compass uh, radius, sorry, match one of the side links, and I'm going to put my compass point on the end of that line segment, and I'm going to swing an arc. Okay, and so then I'm going to adjust my compass to match the second line segment and where these two arcs intersect is going to be the location of my third vertex. So when I put the compass point on the end and swing the arc, oh no, I have an epic fail because these two points, uh, these two line segments aren't long enough to actually intersect. And so what does that mean? Well, it means that I can't just pick any three numbers to represent the sides of a triangle. There are restrictions. Right, and the restrictions make sense if you know how to construct a triangle, right? These two were never gonna meet, right? I can't have four centimeters and five centimeters ever breach the gap at angles to meet up for this side to be 10 centimeters, right? And even if I had this one a centimeter longer at five centimeters, they would be the same length as a segment, but I'd have a triangle of height to zero, right? It'd just be that line segment. So logically, I know that if I want to be able to create a triangle, these two side lengths have to be longer than this third side length. The triangle inequality is, we're going to call it conjecture 21. It says the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. And I have a little drawing accompanying it. I have a little triangle, A, B, C are the side lengths, and A plus B has to be greater than C. There are two more inequalities that I can write. I can write B plus C is greater than A, and I can write A plus C is greater than B. Okay. Um, now, the question is, is the converse true? And so that means if I have three numbers that meet these criteria, are they going to form a triangle? And the answer is yes, the converse is true. So the converse of the triangle inequality says that if three real numbers exist such that each is less than the sum of the other two, then there exists a triangle with those numbers as its length. Now you'll see I put a little plus sign with the real. Um, that's because uh, in geometry we don't really deal with negatives unless they're in a coordinate plane. Um, so for us it's going to be strictly positive real numbers, but this is kind of an indication uh, to you that in the future the triangle inequality and its converse are going to pop back up again and they're going to be a little bit different um, because it, it has wider application than just geometry. 